<coughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm Sujit. I'm a teacher at Bursat Secondary School. And how are you today? For me, I'm fine. And I wish you all fine all together. And don't forget to wear masks when you go out or uh, clean or wash your hand every time when you touch something, okay, to prevent the COVID-19 virus. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you about the grammar, the past continuous tense. So what is past continuous tense? Before we start, I would like you to look to the tense line here. So this is now and this is past simple. So past simple is a tense that we describe about action complete happened in the past with a time expression. If you're talking about time expression, you have to know the word yesterday, okay? Last week, last night, last month, last summer, or in 1999, I mean a uh, specific of the year. So, past simple is happen in the past, it complete. And how about the past continuous tense? Past continuous tense, we're talking about something that is ongoing in the past. Ongoing in the past, yes. And enduring of the specific of time in the past. Okay, so let's look to example. For example, they ask you, what were you doing? last Monday. So they refer to last Monday, okay? What were you doing? For example, like last Monday at seven o'clock. So at seven o'clock last Monday, what were you doing? They want to know your action or what you doing at that time, okay? So you can say, I was studying English. He was studying English or she was studying English. It was studying English. Okay. Or you can say if you use with this subject, I will explain to you later. You were studying English. What were you doing last Monday? We were studying English. What were they doing last Monday? They were studying English. Okay? So in this tense, we use auxiliary verb to be, that is the past, okay? Because to be, if we use in the present, we use am, is, are. But in the past, past simple, if we use, we change it, we use was and were. Okay, so I, he, she, it, we usually use with was. And you, we, they, we usually use with were. And about the form, we will talk later. Okay, don't worry. Just now, I want you to know, to understand how we use this tense correctly. Okay, so we use this tense in three different ways. So, one, we use passive continue to describe something was happening during the specific time in the past. For example, I was playing football last week. Okay, so last week at 5 p.m. At that time, I was playing football. So they refer to uh, something in the past and at that during of the specific time, what were you doing? You can describe by using past continuous. Two, we describe about one action was happening, okay? Was happening, like number one. And another action interrupted. Interrupted means can. So it was happening at that time and something interrupt at 
the time you were doing. So we use two action. One, we use the past continuous tense. We use the conjunction when, and another con another sentence we use past simple. So look to example. I was playing football when you call me. So what does it mean? At the time you were playing football with your friend, and then your friend call you. So call me. We call interrupted action that we usually use the past simple. Okay. Number three. To describe two action. Okay. Two action or three action or more were happening at the same time. We use past continue and past continue. Yeah. I was playing football while Dara was studying. So it happened at the same time, and we normally use conjunction val to connect two sentences with val. Okay. So let's go on to the form of this tense. Okay, now let's go on to the form of the past continuous. Yeah. So the form of the past continuous, like here, I write here. So normally we have subject. Subject usually in the front or at the first of the sentence, and we use with was and were. Okay, the past simple or to be, and with verb. At ing and objective. Okay, so let's take a look and detail about this. I, he, she, it. Okay, with four subject here, you must use with was. Okay, you use with was and the verb ing. And how about you, we, they? You, we, they. We use with the to be were and the verb ing. Okay? I was playing football yesterday morning. He was playing football yesterday morning. You were playing football yesterday morning. Or you can say they were playing football yesterday morning. Okay. So, and how about negative form? Because of to be is auxiliary verb, or we call helping, helping verb. So when we make negative form, we just add not, okay? Mean was not or wasn't. In contract, we can say wasn't. And apostrophe t, okay? It means negative. And how about were? It's the same. We add not to auxiliary verb ver, or we can contract it and apostrophe, and we pronounce vent. Okay, and the verb ing is keeping. Okay, don't change it. And how about question? In question form, like you study in the present simple. Okay, and when we use with to be, it normally bring it to the front of the subject. So you can say, for example, was plus, you can use with I, okay, he, she, it, plus verb ing. And don't forget to put Okay, verb ing, or you can, here is an object, not a two. Okay, and question mark. And how about verb? You say verb plus you, we, they, and verb ing, and question mark. 
sorry. My mixer. <coughs> and you can add W equation here. Okay? W equation. W equation must in front of or at the first of the equation sentence. Okay. So don't confuse, right? Okay, look to this form. Okay, so I want to mention about verb ing. Okay. So verb ing most uh, I mean when the verb ending in e. So what is verb ending in e? You must um, drop a. You mean erase a? Okay. Mm, drop e at ing. So please take a look example. For example, we use the word take. Okay. A lot of verb in English that end in e. So when you Put ing, you need to drop e, okay, and then add ing. Take, taking. Okay, so what else? Dry. So when you use the word dry, before add ing, you must drop e and add ing. Driving, okay, driving. Second. So can we talk about um, the consonant? Okay, some verb, some verb has some verb in form CVC. But so what does it mean CVC? It means consonant, vowel, consonant. So double, double last consonant. Double last C, okay, consonant. I can uh, write like this, okay. And double it, and then add ing. For example, you can say the word sit. So sit here, it in the form consonant, vowel, consonant. So consonant, I is con uh, vowel and T is con consonant. So before you add ing, you need to double the last consonant mean letter T. So we say, we write like this, okay, double T and I and, and G. So sit become sitting. Another verb that is, for example, like a, uh, we use the word drop, okay. Drop also in that form, like drop, stop, shop, okay. So when you add ing, you need to double it. D -R -O -P -P -I -N -G, D-R-O-P-P-I-N-G, dropping. and S-H-O-P-P-I-N-G. So, sit, sitting. Drop, dropping, stop, stopping, shop, shopping. So don't confuse it, okay? Use it correctly. And so the last that I want to show you uh, about stative verb. In continuous tense, present continuous tense, past continuous tense, future continuous tense, we never use with the stative verb. So what is stative verb? Stative verb different from action verb or dynamic verb. Okay. For example, uh, action verb like speak, walk, jump, sing, all the action. Okay. I mean dynamic verb. The verb that show action and stative verb is a verb that show about your thinking your 
mental, your love, like, okay, your feeling. So all these verbs we never use with the continuous tense. For example, like the verb no, okay. For example, like the verb no. You cannot say, I was knowing him yesterday. This is incorrect. Okay? We never use the state to verb with present continuous tense. Because no, if you know someone, you know forever. Okay? And not you are knowing him. Okay, we never use this sentence. This ten. Okay, you can say, "I knew him." You can use it in past simple. I knew him. But you cannot say, "I was knowing him," or you can use it in the present simple. I know him. Okay. 